very very happy diwali and new year to you and yes government looking at keeping that fiscal discipline intact for this financial year now on sunday india's largest rocket sent 36 one web satellites into orbit as part of a constellation which aims remember to provide global broadband internet services by the end of 2023 now bharti enterprises has entered into the one web venture along with the uk government and chairman sunil bharti mittal says that a launch is expected to be every month and all satellites will be in the orbit orbit by March 2023. Let's listen into what he had to say on this auspicious occasion. Well, I think the important uh, uh, development of today is that India will do a first major commercial launch from an Indian rocket, from an Indian soil, and that to my mind is a very proud moment. This is a historic day for India. It will be a very, very important mission for OneWeb. Some timeline on when we can expect a rollout, perhaps, and uh, when uh, and by when the satellites, perhaps the whole entire constellation, uh, will be in space. Well, six launches are left. As you know, we lost those launches, uh, which could have been finished by June this year. Now we'll be finishing all our launches by March. Uh, two of them from ISRO and SIL here in uh, Sri Harkota, and the balance uh, three to four from the US by SpaceX. So these are all happening in sequence. Uh, one every month there will be a launch now. That has delayed our services in India. We expect them to start by middle of next year. Uh, services are already available in India, but they're patchy. There'll be few hours, but to give a 24 by 7 services, we will need more, more satellites to go up. Today, services are available in Alaska, Canada, Greenland, UK. So hopefully, we will have our services fully available, sir. Just one final question, sir, on the issue of allocation versus auctioning, the band between 27.5 and 28.5. Your concerns there uh, for the government to be sensitive towards the needs of the space industry? Well, I think uh, Honorable Prime Minister has very clearly said satellite is going to be one of the important mix of providing telecom services, especially to areas where we can't reach by mobile networks or fiber networks. So how do you cover them? These are the places in desert. Himalayas, in forests, in uh, deep sea, and the applications are very critical for many government agencies. I think the government will make a right decision to provide uh, spectrum uh, for satellite uh, communication, which will make a business case viable in India, like everybody else has done in the world. I know there are noises, pressures, uh, but you cannot compare a satellite 15 acre ground station spectrum allocation like that of an All India mobile spectrum. So people are trying to confuse this discourse, and I think we'll be able to illuminate. And there are lots of good experts within the government who will understand this point. All right, very interesting chat there with Sunil Bharati.